So in this video, we will know how to enable photo selling feature in photo all and how to create a photo selling event. So currently we are on dashboard of photo all and in home section we are. So uh, to enable photo selling feature, we need to create a new event as the existing events can not be uh, made as a photo selling event. So first we need to go to the create event page and there we need to give some name to the event and we need to fill up all the data as it is so as we uh, create a uh, normal events and then we you will be able to see a photo selling option after branding so there uh, you can uh, read the subtitle as the customer can buy images from this event once you will enable this uh, feature this event photos will be available for selling and uh, customers can pay and buy the images so to uh, enable this feature first what you need to do you need to set up your store in photo all so for that you can go to the photo selling uh, option in the left side uh, nav bar otherwise you can just try to enable uh, this photo selling you will be redirected to the photo selling page there you will be able to see one for, uh, set up your store button that you need to click and after clicking over it you will uh, see a form so this is store setting form and there is three fields in here so first one is default image price second one is currency and image watermark and you need to check on the terms and conditions so what is default image price so default image price will be the default price uh, for the images let's say you have created three to four photo selling events and you have not explicitly set, uh, set some price for the each event so uh, this default image price will be set to the event uh, so those images and currency will be default uh, rupees for Indian users and default dollar for uh, outside India users, foreign users. So, in, uh, and what is watermark? So, watermark will be the text which will be actually put on the image so that image uh, original quality or main image uh, will not be available to the users. So, that is must to uh, have watermark. So the watermark should be a minimum of three characters and maximum of 15 characters and default image price should be more than zero and that be, uh, that should be uh, uh, like uh, not greater than thousand. So thousand is acceptable and then you need to check on the terms and conditions and terms and conditions you can uh, see after clicking on uh, here or you can go to the product slash photo selling slash terms and conditions page and here all the terms and conditions are listed so what will be the copyright owner uh, ownership uh, uh, conditions watermark and everything pricing payment payouts and uh, refunds disputes everything will be listed here you can go and check it out and then after that uh, what you need to do you need to save the settings after saving the settings you will be redirected to another form which is bank account detail form so here you need to uh, give your uh, account details where you want your payouts to come so whenever uh, client will uh, your guests will buy the images the payout will be sent to you in 30 days and that will uh, be credited to this same account which you will be giving here so for now we will use some dummy account and you need to give uh, IFSC code and GST number is completely optional you can give it or you can uh, just uh, let it empty this GST number and company name can be fetched from your profile section also uh, if you have mentioned from there uh, over there it will be fetched from there and if you will change it here it will be changed changed to the profile section also so only one GST number and company name you can use so this uh, so after this you need to save settings and after uh, saving it you will be seeing a model which is account verification model so there you need to see your account holder name and you have to verify whether this uh, same name which you have submitted this account belongs to you or not so you can verify by seeing this name if you will click on no uh, resubmit details you will be redirected to the same form and again you need to put same details and again you will see the same model and uh, so our uh, details are correct so we just uh, we will click on this 
this is correct and then we'll see okay so after uh, accepting it we will be seeing the photo selling dashboard so in dashboard there are uh, four uh, sections first one is transaction second one is payout third one is store details and faq so first one is transactions so what is what are the transactions so all of the images which got bought in uh, by the guests will be listed here all of the transactions and bought images details will be here and here you can see the total images sold number will be here and total revenue generated how much revenue totally got generated will uh, be here and you are able to see the list of images these are dummy images uh, so dummy uh, test uh, buying images so here you can see images image name event, uh, event name from where it got uh, sold and guest user id so uh, guest name and then price uh, price of it and the date when it got sold so after that uh, and these details you can uh, also sort by detail uh, by date so if i will sort it down like this so on this uh, there are these many images are there okay sorry so we have reverted to the create event page now uh, payout so in payout you will be seeing the payouts which are pending so which are pending which are successful and failed so what are payouts so once your guests will buy the images those uh, amount will be uh, going to the account and uh, in 30 days um, period in one month period you will be receiving your payouts so that will be bundled bundled up all of the money and you will receive once so this is uh, this is the page where you can track your payouts and successful payout numbers you can see here failed payout numbers you can see here pending payouts will be uh, will be seeing uh, you will be seeing here and final payout amount you can see here so once guest has bought the images and uh, until 30 days it will be in pending uh, state and after 30 days you will be receiving it and if uh, by chance that is failed or something happened the failure reason will be listed here and after consulting to uh, support uh, you can uh, get the payout and also you can uh, sort uh, these details as per uh, date here from here and you can clear the sort so this is about uh, store details and what is the platform fee and everything uh, you can see here after deducting it you will be receiving the payouts so now we will go to the store details so in store details there are uh, two sections first one is store configuration second one is registered account details so in the store store configuration your default image price which we have sent first in first form is here uh, default currency default watermark text and everything so from here you can edit it and you can save it and also uh, the account number which you have specified will be here and IFSC code, GST number, company name and account holder name everything will be listed here you can verify you can check if that is correct or not and you can edit from here too and after editing it uh, you will be receiving this uh, payout into the new uh, verified account and now in uh, FAQ section in FAQ section you will be seeing all the frequently asked questions about photo selling so how we can set up the page how dashboard uh, charges what will be the days and dashboard charges how often i will receive the payouts and all and you can also go to the terms and conditions page from this photo uh, selling faq form so this is all about store and store settings <clears throat> so now uh, what we need to do where we were we were creating a event so after setting up whole store we now we are able to enable the photo selling so this uh, so actually what is this warning is telling us that this setting cannot be changed later so once you have created a event and enabled photo selling so that event uh, can't be the no normal event so all the all of the images which are there in this event will be default uh, photo selling they will be available for uh, selling so if you want a new uh, event or if you want some photos not to be sold you need to delete it and you need to put in new uh, event so this uh, setting can't be reversed and after enabling it so once our store is uh, 
setup we are able to enable it and now we are able to uh, actually set the price for this particular event so that uh, that was the default image price which we have set in store details so it was default image price where you are setting the default and if you will not set for some particular event that will be the default price for the images and for a particular event you can set here and after putting it we can create a event and after creating event if you want uh, like at any point of time after going into the settings page in uh, store you can change the price of image anytime whenever you want so that can be set and after uh, filling all of the details what we need to do we need to upload the photos which we want to be sold so now we will upload the photos and uh, uh, so this is all about uh, all in uh, dashboard side what we need to do so i have shown you everything so now we will see uh, what users your guests will see in gallery side and how that will work uh, what your uh, guests will see we will be seeing here so this is uh, testing 345 which we have created and now uh, in photo selling events gallery you will be seeing the difference that there is one more option which is cart option here and you will uh, you will be able to see here so cart is currently empty and there are uh, images so uh, over images you are able to see the button uh, one icon for cart so after clicking over here you are able to add the images into the cart and one canvas will be pop up from bottom so here you will be seeing uh, the number of images added into the cart and uh, the price total price and uh, from here uh, after clicking on the cart icon you will be redirected to the cart model so cart page so here i will be adding all uh, some images to the cart and now we will be going to the cart in cart you are able to see the image image name and dimension of the actual image so in, uh, once the user will buy the image and what will be the actual dimension and what will be the size so this will be helpful to know uh, what is the quality of the image and uh, whether user want to buy it or not he is able to decide by this details and this is the pricing detail for the image and after clicking on this uh, bin icon he is able to delete the images from the cart and here he will be seeing the total amount what he need to pay and in view details he will be uh, seeing the actual breakup of the pricing so what will be the actual price and what will be the taxes like 18 percent gst on each image and then uh, after clicking on this icon he is able to see the images into gallery view like single view and in list you are uh, guest will be able to see all of the images and uh, before checkout he need to sign in with google account uh, okay so we will be seeing one more option here in options transaction details so this transaction in this transaction detail page he will be seeing all of the images which he has bought and when it will expire everything he will get to know here and in cart items uh, here he can check the cart item here also and he can sign in to check out from here too so now we will sign in to check out uh, so uh, after clicking on sign in to check out one google sign in uh, option will come and we need to authenticate it by our google account so in my case uh, i am registered so i have authenticated now user is ready to check out and now after clicking on the check out uh, option uh, this payment gateway will open and uh, from here uh, there are multiple options to buy image credit card debit card upi net banking and wallets so from upi uh, now we will do some dummy payment okay so after clicking uh, after doing the payments we will be redirected to the transaction details page a user will be able to see the image which he has bought and here there are details like uh, name of the event uh, image price and purchase date and time and expire like after 60 days uh, it will be expired so it will be uh, shown here when it will get expired and also user will get a uh, email on his uh, registered uh, account which he has authenticated during google sign up so there he will also get the link 
from there also he can access uh, and download the image and on click uh, on it it will be get downloaded and he can search by name and sort it so this uh, like this he will be able to get the image in real quality original quality so this is all about uh, photo selling uh, new feature in uh, photo all so thank you for uh, your patience and time thanks a lot